Okay guys, so I'm here with Daniel and he has a really cool craft beer facility. You guys can see the um, set up back here and you're in Cactus Alley, right? That's correct. So tell me, how long have you been in business? How long have you um, guys been uh, We've been in business for the past year and a half. Okay. So we started, we opened the doors to the public on 2021, January 2021. Right after COVID. Right wow. after COVID. Okay, so what we're doing here is not the typical like beers that you see you know, on all the breweries. Normally you're gonna see a lot of uh, IPAs, a lot of hazies, a lot of sours. Yes, um, all the breweries have all the styles, but we try to focus on, on styles that are not out there. For example, like cream ales, um, brown ales. Um, um, right now we have a tropical stout. And those kind of styles that people don't really know about them and yeah. then that's what we put on our tab and what's a fan favorite for the summer uh, for the summer right now we have a jalapeno sison which is okay. a light color beer and we throw a little bit of jalapenos in there just for flavoring we did take out all the seeds and all the okay. veins so that way it's not spicy i was gonna ask if it was spicy but um we're working on one that's gonna be spicy but right now the one that we have is the name is saragosa it's a jalapeno sison and it's uh, right now one of the favorites for everybody that comes okay. and visit us and when are you guys open we open normally on thursdays from 4 to 10 um saturdays and um uh, fridays and saturdays same time 4 10 11 11 30. Okay. just that's about that time that we open and what's your favorite like what's your favorite beer what's my favorite, favorite beer right now it's one that is called jagurumo and it's a light color beer with coffee notes in it so it's a basically we call it a coffee ale so what you see with this coffee ale is going to be light color, very strong coffee notes in it. And um, it plays with your mind because normally all people that do coffee beers, they normally do them dark. This is not a dark beer. Wow. This is actually a light beer. Okay. So you guys come out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and you'll see a little bit more of the video I did around here. So. Um, and Daniel, where are you from? Because you um, had a journey. Yeah, I'm Oriel from Puerto Rico, um, okay. and I moved to Lubbock in 2014. Okay. I was up for a, a job, and um, he, I took it, I took the risk, but I identified that there was a need of uh, more craft uh, okay. beer in Lubbock, and I just took the challenge of it, and here we are. Like, um, two years later, we're up and running. And I saw the other day that you taught a class to a bunch of women. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, tell me a little bit about that. And if somebody wanted to do, like, a group class, like, do you offer that? Yeah. Um, so, what we're doing right now, we're doing a homebrew sessions. We're calling, okay. we're calling them the Mano Negra Brewing Sessions. And what we're doing is to, to educate the, the community on how to make the, the beer and how to make, like, um, your own beer at home. Oh, okay. Cool. okay. Um, the Girls Pine Out was the community that came over, and it's um, they just separated the space, but it's open for everybody. So if anybody wants to learn, um, we're gonna be posting on our Facebook page okay. when and um, are gonna be the next session with the beer style that we're gonna do, and you okay. can buy your tickets and get be you know join us for a brewing session. Okay, so if you wanna be a home brewer, y'all need to come down here. Well, Daniel, thank you. What a cool little place you've got here. Thank you. Thank you very much.